out a dual boot Chrome OS and Windows 11. Well, to be honest, the same way as dual booting Chrome OS and Windows 10. There is no difference in the installation method. But because some of you said in the comments that Grub2Win does not work with Windows 11, I decided to give it a try. Also, in this video, I will go over all the process, from downloading, making the Chrome OS image, partitioning and finally installing. This way you don't have to check one video for creating the image, and another for installing, and so on. But first, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon, so you won't miss any of my future videos. Speaking of future videos, stay tuned for the next one, where I will go over all the comments that I received in the past months related to Chrome OS, make a top, and do my best to answer them. Okay, enough said. Let's get started. First download is the brunch release. Go to github.com and download the latest stable version. Next, download the Ramus image if your CPU is between 4th and 9th generation. For 10th or 11th generation, download Voltaire, and if your CPU is 3rd gen, download the Samus image. For AMD Stony Ridge and Bristol Ridge CPUs, download Grunt image, and for Ryzen, use Zork. Next to download is Grub2Win, an open source program that allows us to safely boot more operating systems on the same device. And the last thing you need is the Grub2Win code. Once the download is complete, go to Downloads and extract the Chrome OS recovery file from the archive. Now, you need to enable Windows Subsystem for Linux. With this enabled, you can install Ubuntu and create the Chrome OS image. Go to Control Panel, Programs, Programs and Features. Turn Windows features on or off. Here, scroll down and check the box for Windows Subsystem for Linux. Click OK and let the PC restart. Next, you have to install Ubuntu. For that, go to Microsoft Store, type Ubuntu in the search bar, and install it. Now, you have to choose a username and a password. Here, type in the command cd space slash mnt slash c slash users slash your username slash downloads. Next, type in ls to list everything that is in that folder. Next command is sudo tar zxvf and highlight the brunch file Control plus c to copy it and right click to paste it now type in sudo bash chrome os dash install dot sh dash src and highlight the ramus recovery dot bin Control plus c to copy it and right click to paste it after pasting it type dash dst chrome os dot img dash s and type in the amount of gigabytes you want for your ramus image press enter and wait for the disk image to complete now you have to create a new partition to do that you have to go to start up and type disk partition there you will find create and format disk partitions. Click on it and inside you have to select a partition to shrink. Right click on the disk and select shrink volume. At the amount of space to shrink put the size of the Chrome OS image that you've just created or higher. Right click on the unallocated space and select new simple volume. At name type Chrome OS, exactly how is written in the grub to win code. Now that the Chrome OS partition is created, click on it, and inside create a folder with the exact same name, Chrome OS. And, like I said before, make sure that the name is the exactly like in the grub to win code. 
Inside the folder, you need to copy and paste the Chrome OS image created earlier. And when it's done, rename it, Ramus, underline, image. Next step is to install Grub to win. Click on the partition list, and inside the document you will find the partition you just created. On the left side you will see written partition, followed by a number. You need to go to the grub to win code, and replace the x next to sda with that number. Also, while you are in the grub to win code, replace the xxx underline image, with ramus underline image. Go back to grub to win, and click on manage boot menu. After that, Select, add a new entry. The type, choose custom code. A title, write Chrome OS. And when you are done, click on edit custom code. Inside this note file, you will copy and paste the edited grub to win code, and save it. Now you can restart your system, and grub to win should open at boot. If it doesn't, then go to boot menu by pressing F12, and select it from there. And, for the end, some game testing. 